สวัสดีครับ I'm JP m i s t a n z a It's Tuesday, August 2nd. Welcome to Phuket Extra, brought to you by PBCPhuket.com. A project to alleviate the traffic in the area surrounding the Heroines Monument in central Phuket is reportedly going to be in the works as the Highways Department announced a 2 billion baht project to build a three-lane underpass under the landmark. The Phuket Info Center relayed the news with reports saying that a feasibility study is being commissioned for the project at the Heroines Monument roundabout. Construction is expected to begin in 2024, with plans to open the underpass sometime in 2027, with construction projected to cost 2.3 billion baht. The underpass is slated to be three lanes wide under the monument along t e p k a s a t r i Road, with two lanes northbound. Each 3.25 meters wide and one southbound lane four and a half meters wide. At the ground level, plans are for there to be two lanes on each side, and the plan is to maintain a two-lane roundabout around the monument, along with designing a traffic signal system at intersections there. The plan also includes raising the monument itself by 90 centimeters and add a garden forecourt where visitors can come to pay their respects. Access to the monument will be by walkways leading to and from the Robinson Department Store on the northwest corner of the intersection, and to the closed jewelry retail center on the southeast corner of the intersection. Stairs and elevators will also be installed to make visiting the shrine accessible to everyone. With plans to construct a multi-purpose hall to showcase the tale of the island's two heroines. What are your thoughts on this underpass? For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. Nok Airlines has defended the hour-long evacuation of passengers from the plane that crashed off the runway after landing at the Chiang Rai Airport on Saturday night, saying it was in strict compliance with safety procedures. On Saturday, a flight from Dong Muong Airport in Bangkok to Chiang Rai with 164 passengers and six crew on board slid off the runway, and its undercarriage collapsed as it landed in heavy rain. At Mae p h a l u a n g International Airport in Chiang Rai at about 9 p.m., passengers said the captain turned off the engines, leaving the passenger cabin in darkness and without air conditioning. They had been left in stuffy conditions for over an hour before being evacuated. n o k Airlines PLC issued a statement on Tuesday in response to complaints by passengers. n o k Air offered an apology for any inconvenience and miscommunication that might have incurred passengers' displeasure. It said the airline had followed maximum safety procedures by taking into consideration the passengers in the flight and coordinating with the work unit about evacuating them via a slide from the front door, as a stairway could not be placed properly against the aircraft because of the heavy rain and wet ground at the time. Moreover, n o k Air says that there might have been wild animals around, which could have posed a danger to the passengers. For more, visit the link in the description. Prime Minister p r a y u c h a n o c h a has intervened and halted a planned power tariff to curb rising living costs. The higher tariff, which would raise the cost up to 4.72 baht per kilowatt hour, up from a rate of 4 baht, it was set to be imposed between September and December of this year. However, that is no longer the case. The new power tariff was the result of rising energy prices following sanctions imposed by the U.S. and its allies. On Russia after its invasion of Ukraine in February, as well as the rising cost of crude oil prices, which have increased since late last year, the new power tariff has also resulted from a huge decline in the domestic gas supply from the Gulf of Thailand, causing officials in the country to import more expensive liquefied natural gas, which now makes up around 60% of the fuel used to generate electricity in Thailand. The state-run electricity generating authority of Thailand. Has now subsidized the power tariff to help relieve pressure on the cost of living, all at a cost of more than 87 billion baht. For more, visit the link in the description. 
a new Miss Universe Thailand 2022 has been crowned, and it's none other than Bangkok's Anna Suanyang Yam. The 23-year-old won the crown on Saturday night during the Miss Universe Thailand 2022 final pageant. Miss Anna, an honors graduate from Kasitsart University, stated during the pageant that both her parents worked as garbage collectors in Bangkok and that most of her toys as a child were salvaged from garbage and repaired by her parents. She had also grown up living off of alms because her late great-grandmother had been a Buddhist nun and fed her from the food she received from devotees while taking care of her in place of her hard-working parents who put her through school. The Bangkok native will now represent Thailand in the next Miss Universe pageant later this year. Thank you so much for joining us here on this Tuesday edition of Phuket Extra brought to you by pvcphuket.com. We'll be back tomorrow. Until then, stay classy Phuket. Phuket's rapid modernization has made it one of the world's premier holiday destinations. Investors can still buy quality condominiums for as low as 75,000 US dollars and luxury properties can go all the way up to 20 million. Condominiums in Phuket are a safe, secure bricks and mortar investment offering foreigners freehold ownership. Call or email Thai Residential. Phuket's number one trusted real estate advisor to find your perfect Phuket property.